Okay. So here with Bill Shannon, uh, outgoing Liberal Democrat leader. Um, how's, it, how's it been for you being a councillor on, on Preston Council all these years? Oh my goodness, uh, I've done 11 years. Um, I've done three full terms. Uh, I always said when I set out I'd only do two terms. I've done an extra one, but I think it's now to time to hand over to a younger person. It's been... I mean, being a councillor, particularly being an opposition councillor, a backbench councillor, can be frustrating, but it can also be fantastically rewarding in terms of the casework, the stuff that you do around the ward for people, and that's what being a local councillor is really about. How much of an impact do you think uh, this election being tied with the European elections uh, has had on the campaign? I, I think it's had a major effect. I think it, 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 it's, it, it's very disappointing that a lot of people who don't perhaps normally vote in local elections have come out to register a protest vote against Europe or whatever without any thought as to, uh, as to all the work that has gone in from the, the candidates from the main parties, the ones who are represented on Preston City Council. So I would expect a, a fairly high turnout out from UKIP for, as, a, as a protest vote. And uh, how does it look for the Lib Dems across Preston? You've got five seats at the moment. Do you think we you'll have. keep those? Um, we, we will hope, but as this is the only poll that counts. You know, all those uh, opinion polls don't count, and we've got another few hours before we'll know for sure. But, I mean, clearly we, we, we would hope to hold on to the two seats that, that are in contest, uh, contestion for us today. Yeah. And how much damage has Nick Clegg caused, uh, in your view? Nick Clegg in 2010, which was the last time I was elected, did the only possible thing that he could do, which was to uh, not sulk in a corner, but to join in in coalition with the, the largest party, the party that had received the most support. Uh, the, voters, uh, the, the voters don't like people who do what's right. They, they, prefer, I think, they would have preferred, I think, for him to have gone up and sulked in the corner. But, you know, so we're now a party of government. And as a party of government, halfway through or three quarters of the way through, we're being punished for being the party in government. I mean, that's just the way of the world. It'll, it'll swing, you know, the swings and roundabouts, that's the way of politics. And uh, what do you think will be your sort of defining memory as you, as, as you leave the town hall one last, one last time? <laughs> My defining memory? I think, I mean, I, I, I think about Ingle, not about the town hall, if you like. And one of the things that I, I think I, 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 I managed to achieve was to bring in a, 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 a parish council for Ingle. It, we call it a neighbourhood council. But it's something where, again, you're spreading it down to bring it down to local level. And I, I'm a great believer in localism. I'm a great believer in decisions being taken locally rather than in wherever, the town hall or Westminster or indeed Brussels. Local decisions should be taken locally. And we've managed to achieve that in, in Ingle. And that will be, I think, my, uh, one of my uh, memorials, shall we say. Although I'm not actually dead.